Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to my Reassembly series, episode 9, I believe we're on. Ah, exciting. So, on the last episode, we, uh, we built the Fleeper and the Tick. Now, since then, I have made a couple modifications. Um, on the advice of you guys, uh, lots of you guys offered some advice on where I should be placing my engines, so I think I have placed them in such a way that, uh, of course, improves their maneuverability. And I'll just show you how well that works now, so we'll just pop into the Fleeper really quickly. Doesn't take very long to build. Done. <laughs> so cool. Okay, and yes, as you can see, he turns magically. He's got great forward thrust. He can whip around. He can. He's just an excellent little medium. I'd say he's a medium heavy fighter. A medium heavy fighter. He's got a lot of guns on him for a fighter. Like, look at that. He's got uh, the four auto cannons and the two plasma so he, he does a substantial amount of damage and he's very fast and he still kind of has that kind of buggy kind of look to him so that's kind of cool and i also made a couple modifications to the tick as well because the tick was a little cumbersome in his movements so let's just wait until he finishes he takes a little bit longer to build because he has the shield system but of course that shield system is uh <laughs> extends his life dramatically just takes a second tick tock tick tock come on ticky <laughs> uh, right, and he has the two plasma guns, the plasma projectors, and he has two heavy torpedoes. Whoops, hey, out of my way. So, uh, with four with four missiles on it. So, he does the long range really well. So, these guys in numbers will be freaking dangerous. It's going to be awesome. And, of course, for dogfighting, he still has the torpedoes. Now, I'm debating on whether or not we should maybe add... A couple defense cannons to him. I think that's probably a really good idea. He is quite expensive for a little ship. He's like 303 points to build. But, you know, it's, it's, I think it's worth, hold on, let's just, I don't remember how much these are worth. Uh, yeah, they're, they're peanuts. Look at that. It's peanuts. It's just, it's just a few more points to add that. And he's got good enough maneuverability. I think that's, I think it's worthwhile. Um, even tempting to put just a, couple auto cannons on or a plasma cannon as well that does make him really heavy though yeah i don't know i don't know that's that's pretty heavy i think we just keep him as is that way he's he can defend himself from missiles and stuff too uh that should again add to his survivability with that shield and the defense cannons he should last quite a while out in combat so very pleased with him he moves he moves quite well he's, he's not quite as maneuverable as the lighter fighter, but then again, he does have the heavy torpedoes. So in numbers, these guys are going to be awesome. So when we're faced with something that's just a monstrosity, that's going to be a real pain in, pain in the butt to kill, we just build a whole bunch of these guys. And 300, at this point, um, honestly, 300 points, 315 is not that bad. Uh, early on in the game, of course, 300 was a lot. That was as much as our first starting ship, I think, was 300. Okay, so let's go back to our little mothership here uh we should change its name you know what actually i will hand this off to the community i need a name for our it this is going to be sort of our mainstay the ship that we go back to over and over it's going to be a multi-function ship where it's going to have the factory on it so it it will breed new ships as well as have decent cargo space we're going to be expanding the cargo space it's going to have long range and short range guns as well as some drones so it's going to have a little bit of everything a whole bunch of flavor for everything and eventually it's going to get big and stupid and retarded and uh, i need a name for it and i'm not happy with this particular name so please guys i would love a name and i keep in mind i can only pick one name so i can only pick one of the names that you guys offer but uh i would really appreciate uh, a name for it and you know maybe we'll just take a vote or i don't know i'll draw draw a name out of a hat or something and we'll pick that name but uh, yeah we need a new name for our main ship i also did some work on the space station as you can see it is awkward it's totally imbalanced it is not symmetrical and it's exactly as I want it to be. So it's got lots and lots and lots of storage on it. It does have a factory. Tons and tons and tons of shields. Lots of drones sort of located all over the place. Some rail guns to give it some range. Um, it's, it's, it's actually 
not too bad. I, I did build one just to see how well it functioned out in the real world, and it, it did okay, and I can sell resources to it, and it builds its own ships, and it's a great way to secure an area. The problem is, is it's quite expensive. It's 3,658 uh, resource points to build, which is which is pretty substantial. So I actually have to gather the resources with the space roach, then switch over to the this my main ship, and then build uh, one of these. So we still need a little platform as well, um, a little defense platform. But we're not going to do that right now. What I'd like to do today is get back to basics. And what what I mean by that is, well, okay, let's take a look at the map here. So. Um, as you can see, any of this this gray, this particular gray where all the green stuff is, this gray here, this is areas that belong to us. Uh, so this is areas that we've conquered. Now, any of these other colors is belongs to other people. And of course, the blue are is stations that we still need to capture. And all of this is undiscovered. So we are going to do some exploring and we are going to expand our kingdom because I think that's the first step in all of this. Now after we've we've got some basic ships and I see, I see that you know we've been my uh, my faction has been building some of our our new ships, even our new designs. So that's really exciting. And uh, yeah, we're we're going to go see what kind of trouble we can get in. So let's do it. Ooh, yay! And uh, yeah, let's go do it. And if we find some good mining spots, we're going to stop and we're going to flip over to our little mining freighter and uh, gather some resources. Yeah, I forgot that. You know, I've been playing actually quite a bit of this game outside of YouTube, which is pretty uncommon for me. Usually I pick a game for YouTube and I just stick with um, <laughs> that particular game that I'm playing on YouTube and I don't start a new one, a separate one. I just do it solely on YouTube, but not with this game. I actually have a separate, entirely separate, a couple separate games, and one of which actually I started to play a little bit on Twitch, and I'm, I'm new to Twitch, so I haven't been on there very much, but uh, uh, really fun. So I've actually learned quite a bit about the game outside of YouTube, and uh, I gotta tell you, this ship, there's lots of modifications we can make to this ship to make it better. Uh, of course, we want to stick with the theme too as well. Whoa! Ah, it doesn't, yeah, it just doesn't have that... Uh, it turns like a pig, and I know exactly what we need to do. Whoa, he's really big. Whoa, okay, let's, we can take him. Whoa, maybe. <laughs> oh, look at those fighters, eh? All right, we'll chew up those fighters, and then we'll tear them apart here, because we can take him out at range. Woo! Just gotta... <laughs> oh, why? Oh, I'm out of energy. Okay, so that was one of the issues that we were having with this ship. I remember that now. Okay, so let's let's go fix that before we start messing around here. All right, so let's. Uh, I'm not sure if I researched that or not. Uh, where is it? Oh, so that, yeah. So we have the next level generator ready to go. So we need to upgrade our ship to the new power systems. And I think that's right. We were gonna put the power systems in these spots here. Now, uh, hmm. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? So, hmm. <laughs> okay, so we could do this. Pull this out and add... Woo! Because probably one generator, one of the new generators is probably enough. And adding two might make it just a little too expensive. So we could actually throw one of those generators... He whoops. There. And that still covers us for the shield. Actually, that, that works great. That works great. And then we've got one small one as a backup. And that does make the ship a little bit more expensive. But uh, no, we need that power. <laughs> uh, if we can't shoot at the bad guys, then what good are we? All right. Smash! <laughs> That's so cool. I love it. Uh, yeah, you can see why they call this game reassembly. Okay, so put that together. And uh, then we should be able to fire rail guns pretty consistently at that point. Uh, it takes a while to put it together, eh? Those shields, eh, it just... Uh, it makes sense why it takes so long to build them, but... Uh, yeah, they do take a while. Whee! Okay. Oh, not quite built. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, we should be able to... Oh, <laughs> uh, those real guns are pretty effective. Oh, you do have to aim with them, though. But good shot, you know, you get a good shot off and you can uh, destroy these guys pretty easily. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can find that big guy again. Boom! 
Those defense guns actually really help out. Boom! Yeah! <laughs> Whoops! Oh, I, he looked like one of mine, so... I actually didn't realize he was an enemy. Yeah, the little guys with the little shields, they, uh... They can take quite a few hits. Okay, so let's go see if we can... Ooh! Ooh, he looks like trouble. Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow, okay, too many shields. No, we gotta get out of here. Dude, turn! No, go! No, not that way! What are you doing? Okay, as you can see, my cursor was facing up here, or was up here, and he wasn't turning. So, I don't know what I was doing wrong there. <laughs> okay, so the guys with the shields, we just don't have enough firepower to deal with the guys, the big guys with the shields, but the red guys shouldn't be a problem. Either ways, we, we've gotta go find some more... We've got to go... Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, we can't deal with him. We can deal with him, maybe. We can, but... Ah, oh, see, yeah. We just... We're taking a beating. Hmm. We need better armor. We need to have our guns placed better. We need to have our shields placed better. And, uh... Yeah, we'll get there. Let's let's go see if we can expand our kingdom here first. Let's see if we can find some more stations to capture. And on the way, you know, maybe get some points. The exploration in this game, it's actually super fun because you never know what to expect. And if things get out of hand on this map, like if everybody starts to get too far ahead of me, we can always jump into one of these wormholes. So the wormholes will take you to a whole new galaxy. Uh, yeah, and it's basically like starting at the very beginning, but with all your goodies intact. Oh, I wonder if we can take him. He's like... It's like a little station, eh? It's producing ships, like fighters and stuff, but we do have lots of defense guns. And energy's holding up. I love it. So the energy is pretty good, which is awesome. That's a lot of fighters, though. Holy crap. Okay, so... Oh, wow. Okay, I was trying to... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what? Okay. Little fighters, you guys can't go too far away from your home. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, we're in we're in over our heads here. Okay, so these, these plant things are brutal. They, uh... <laughs> so it's, it's like a race on its own. And um, each one of these plants can produce little, little guns or... They're like, uh... Each one shoots... Okay, I can't back up. Why can't I back up? I have no... Uh, okay, hold on. I can't back up. I can't actually move. This is not good. Okay, uh, we got we got to find some way to get safe here. We need to rebuild. Rebuild! Wow. Okay, so these plants, they, they will grow and shoot these little spiky things at you. But the nice thing about them is actually you get quite a bit of points from killing them. So if you're in an area with lots of these and you've got a ship that's able to withstand getting pelted from these things, you can make a killing. Uh, right, we don't, we need, we need, we need more cargo containers to be able to do this effectively. Now the shields will actually defend against those pretty well and you can take a substantial amount of damage. Notice our front end keeps getting knocked off pretty easily. What we might do actually, uh, I think we've got the points to do it. Let's do something silly. <laughs> uh, this design, I don't know. I don't know. After playing as much as I have, I don't know if this design's really that great. But that's fine. We'll work with it. Because, you know, we're, we're going to have to modify it and expand it more and, you know, do all that kind of stuff. But we're going to add another shield system right in here. And we should have more than enough power to be able to handle that. And that should add to some of the strength that we have up here. And multiple shields up at the front would be great, too. I've, I've had some ships in some other games that have tons of shields. Oh, we need... Uh, okay, so we need... To upgrade our ship so we have more points that should work okay perfect and i'm thinking we might want to upgrade so these little plants now it could be a real chore to take them out and some weapons are really good at just vaporizing these things like some of the beam weapons a little uh, uh i think it's a proton sword and that's something that maybe we should invest in a specific build a specific kind of ship to just take these out because we can make a fortune just destroying these Ooh. <laughs> 
Where are these fighters coming from? That station still? I don't think so. Maybe. Okay, so let's build... Hold on. What have we got in our queue here? So, oh, that's an older version. Uh, another thing we're going to build, actually, let's expand our cargo. So one of the th another thing that I've learned since we built this original design is that we can make our, our cargo containers bigger. Of course, actually, it was in the fr freighter that we sort of discovered that, right? So what we're going to do is add um, a few of those because one of these can hold 290, whereas these can hold, only hold 50. So to equal one of these bigger ones, you know, I'd need to have that many. So that's that's about equivalent to that. And then we can still add a couple of those. I don't know. I don't know. I think we might have to re redesign this whole thing. <laughs> uh, that's okay. That's okay. For now, we'll, we're, we're good for now. Okay, let's do that. Change that out. Right. And add another one of those on the other side. I do kind of like the look of this ship, but I th it needs to grow. It needs to change. Okay, and um, I think while we're here, we're going to add another add a medium thruster just right here. And that will improve the turning for this ship. And uh, these plasma cannons, honestly, I, I, I want to get rid of them. We're, we're, uh, one of the things I've learned is that you either want to have a nice set of short range guns and a nice set of long range guns and have them on you know left and then right mouse button and do things like drones and stuff on your auto fire and defense guns the flak cannons are awesome the defense guns are okay they're good for the smaller smaller ships but the flak flak guns are where it's at they they do substantial amounts of damage to all ships so uh that's definitely something we're gonna uh, work on and these aren't going to do a lot. These particular thrusters probably aren't doing a lot, except for giving us forward thrust. And if we want forward thrust, let's put these back here. They're not doing a lot in terms, of, like these here are doing nothing for us, essentially, unless we want to strafe, like moving from side to side. They're going to do, you know, okay there, but they're better off up here, which will affect our turning. Okay, so let's, let's go with that. Oh, actually, we could add a couple more of these oh not factories um let's see if we can add some, some more of the larger i don't know why i did that let's do this and then see they can go right up to this size which is 1160 i wonder hmm <laughs> here i am i it's so easy to get caught up building stuff and it's just so much fun it's so much fun to build stuff that uh it's it's hard to resist so i wonder if we modify Take some of this, move that. I wonder if we could fit one of these in here. Whoops. Here, let's let's move that out of the way and put that here. <laughs> okay. This is gonna totally mess up our design. Uh, I don't know. That looks okay, I guess. Maybe, hold on, maybe let's get rid of this and just do, like, the claw. <laughs> oh, that's okay, but I'd rather have it sticking up, but if it sticks up, then the shields aren't just, the shields just aren't, aren't going to cover it, right? They, they won't protect it. So I think that looks okay. Let's, let's do that on the other side, too, as well. So let's get rid of all this crap. We got rid of that and that. Whoops. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I don't know what I hit there, but it all kind of flew away. Okay. And then we just easily copy that by going C, V, and then M to flip it. And then stick that sucker on there in the same exact way. And it's still covered by the shield. And, of course, the center... Sh we're we're going to have to rearrange the shields. We're going to have to rearrange anything. But we're, we're currently... We want to make sure that this ship has a lot, the ability to build some larger crap. Uh, actually, we're going to put these here. I don't know if these thrusters in the center are doing as much good as we want. Whatever. I don't know. We'll figure that out in a minute. Okay. Uh, terrible design, but it's 
We're working on it. We're working on it. Okay, so, and we've still got the factory. Okay, good. Let's do that. Save. Not quite enough to be able to build, um, ooh. Oh, we're still, hold on. Is everything built? Uh, it's not turning great. Hold on, we might have to make some modifications to those. <laughs> um, one of the things I've noticed, like when, you, when you're hunting these plants and stuff, you want to stay kind of close to the side. That way we're getting tons and tons and tons of resources for killing these, by the way. So th it's worthwhile. It's totally worthwhile. But we don't have the right weapons to be able to kill them effectively. The proton sword, I think it's a proton sword. Or it's one like it. It's it's one of the beam weapons, and it's really short range, and it does tons of damage. It is awesome for this purpose. I suppose we could uh, maybe try and integrate that into the ship. I'm 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 tempted to just rebuild this entire ship because it's ah, it's a little sloppy, little sloppy. I do like the rails. Okay, I don't know. Okay, so that's that. Now those plants, like it, it's it's it can it's a real chore to get rid of them. So let's uh, let's see what else can we do to improve our turning here. I guess we could. Whoops. Uh, I guess we could. Yeah, we can do that. We can do. I don't know if these guys are doing as much good as we think they are. Do that. That should help. Like so. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. And. Maybe a couple more back here. That should increase our turning. And sh should have decent forward thrust. I'm just uh, trying to get that turning right. Let those build. Okay, should be good to go. No, it's, not, it's not bad. It's not bad. We'll work on it. Can we even affect those shields, I wonder, at range? Maybe with the help of those fighters. No, we don't, we don't have enough fighters to be able to do any serious... Damage, that's a problem. Okay, ooh. So if we get in here, take out those shields. Ha ha ha, there we go. Just like that. Awesome. Oh, that's great. Yeah, look, 3,000, we're, we're pushing 3,000 points already. Fantastic. Fire! Oh! No, turn around. Oh yeah, actually, our turning's way better. Way better! And look at how much we can store. So now we can also, let's see what's in our queue here. So what we could do now is uh, we could, I wish we could delete these ships. So unfortunately, I've got to put this down here in the rack of progression. And we can actually put our main ship as our second ship and we can start building. Or we, oh, what else? We could build fighters and stuff, but we, we don't need that right now. What I need right now is more ships like myself. So we're just going to build another one of me. <laughs> and we're going to go see, oh, another one of these. Got good points for that last time. Ooh, 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 ooh. Why is he, the last one didn't have beams like that, did he? Okay, we got to get out of here. Go! Go, 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 go. Yikes. Where's our buddy? <laughs> Didn't we just build? We built a ship. Where'd he go? But he got eaten as well. Maybe he uses up all his power launching all these fighters and then he can't use those beam weapons or something. I don't know. I don't know. There he is. There. Together we should be able to do it. No problem. There we go. Ha <laughs> Crash him! <laughs> awesome. Well done. Fantastic. Okay, and good to go. Let's build another one. So what we're gonna do is we're taking I'm taking these motherships into deep enemy territory, and then we're gonna set them free and let them start building their own fleets in areas that, you know, sorta of don't have stations and stuff like right in here was would be really awesome because look at all the, look at all the plant life and stuff so they can he can harvest resources and and uh grow and get bigger did we kill that oh it's done awesome good job good job well done okay so what we're gonna do actually is if you go tab and command now he's free he is going to oh there we go now he's free 
I don't know what happened there. Okay, and we'll build another one. Lots of these little shielded suckers kicking around. And there should be more than enough resources for him to start growing a little mini army in here, which is fantastic. We could build like the space station and stuff in here, like the our space station, but it's a little expensive. Uh, you know, defense platform would be kind of cool, but we don't have that built yet. Uh, we're maybe work on that last time. We spent so much time building. Uh, oh, hey, that's one of our freighters. Look at that. Oh, look, where did he come from? Huh. Okay, some more of these plants. Uh, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to back off. Uh, well, here, we'll help him out. We'll help him clear some of these with weapons we've got. But we have... This is terrible weapons for this. Well, what I want to do is set up extreme short-range weapons that do tons of damage. And, of course, a nice set of rail guns for the long-range stuff. So, uh, you'll see what I mean. Like, the, like these beam weapons that this guy's using. Uh, great short-range weapons. And great for kind of rooting this stuff out. Stop! <laughs> I, always, I always ram into the walls. But you want to kind of hug the walls when you're fighting these kinds of things? Because then the other ones can't hit you on the other side? I don't know. Makes sense to me anyway. Do you get lots of points killing these guys? Now, I have a feeling there's going to be just tons of those lying around. So what we're going to do is, uh, yes, we are we are actually going to unlock... Which one is it? It's not the Proton Beam. Proton Sword? Is the sword the long range? Very short. Okay, so this is the one. <laughs> awesome weapon. Oh, we have to... So our pallet is full. We actually have to remove something for our, from our pallet. We'll remove the mining laser for now, and we're going to add the Proton Sword... And we're going to add some more points. And let's see if we can't add some of these proton swords. So, um, really, the plasma cannons... I don't know if we really need those. I'd rather have lots of flak cannons than lots of these that I actually control. The flak cannons are defense guns, and they, they blow up ships quite nicely on their own. The little ships. And I'm less concerned about the little ships now. You know, I'll save the plasma cannons for my other little ships, and they can, uh, you know, they can do their thing. But for now, I think we want to... Now, th I think these things use a lot of power, so that is a concern. And you kind of want them nice, in a nice little bank, together, like that. And um, while we're here, let's add another shield. <laughs> uh, because we kept getting our head shot off. And we are going to add some armor I know we're kind of ruining our head design a little bit I guess not really ruining it all that much at all actually we just I want to be sure that uh, this ship can you know take 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 the licks right so and part of that is you know if that shield goes down which it does quite often because I ram into stuff because you know I'm a terrible driver so we're going to add... Oh, that looks... I don't know. That looks kind of bug-like too. So I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. And um, I'm going to add one more... Something here. I could just add another block on there. Just to kind of give it a little... Make it a little bit beefier. Yeah. Yeah! Like that. Now, it, it's just, you know... Oh, it's still... Hmm... It's not even. Something's not even. There we go. That's what I was... No? It's, no, that's right. That's right. Uh, hmm... Yeah, I think we just need to redesign the whole damn thing. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that right now. Because it'd take too long. You know, I'll get it started on my own and then, you know, I'll show it to you guys halfway and then we'll finish it off right but um i do like the proton swords and what we're gonna do actually is add oh, i guess that doesn't work eh? uh i'm not happy with the way it's kind of sitting on there it's just it's too flimsy i i played enough this game now to know that you know stuff like that's a little questionable but i don't know we'll, we'll give it a shot we'll give it a shot save <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, we need more points. Oh, man. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, well, well, what do we need? Ten more points? Are you kidding? Oh, okay, so hold on, hold on. I'm sure we can remove ten points without hurting our feelings that much. Uh, hmm. What are these worth? Four points? Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> okay, we could add, uh, remove a couple of those guns. Ah, oh, bugger. Okay, just one rear for now. Oh, see, that didn't do it. Oh, two of those would. Okay, well, then let's, rather than remove those, let's add, remove two of the, these ones for now. There we go. Perfect. Save. Okay. Now, let's get out of here while our shield grows, and that will give us some nice f extra front protection. And on top of that, we're going to have these. Look at that. Zzz. Isn't that awesome? They, like, like insta-kill a lot of these guys now. Is that, oh, that shield's not quite there. There it goes. Now, watch this. Zzz. Cook, 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 cook. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's like mowing the lawn. It's a dirty job, but you know, somebody's got to do it. Wee! There. Oh, there we go. And we still have the long range stuff. So we have less of the short firing stuff. We still have those plasma guns in the back. We might want to change those out eventually for rails or something, because I really like having... Oh, look at the modifications that our little freighter has added onto him. Self, he's added like little spiky things. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting design there, buddy. Okay. But see, these guys will grow back. So what, what it means is that there is a, there's a type of creature that is around here that keeps producing the seeds for those plants. And so they'll keep regrowing until you kill the big bad guy and i don't know where he is but i think that's probably an episode guys i hope you've enjoyed it um if you have please hit the like button and uh if you really like it hit the uh, subscribe button we're gonna be doing lots more of reassembly hopefully in the next couple days terror tech the new version of terror tech will be out and we'll be doing that as well and i have a couple surprises for you guys this week okay take care guys